the good power play is as soon as you get half a lane, just put it on that. You look for the deflection or the rebound or the screen or the fluke or the bad goal. The Edmonton is pass, 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 pass. One timer, boop, you know, ring around the boards and try to enter the zone again with two drop passes. It's it's predictable and it's not working. But the the good power plays shoot the puck all the time, and it starts with uh, having a guy in the point maybe to 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 boom one, which they don't really have. Cleft ball maybe to some extent, but just the mindset of everybody on the team has to be: if you have half a lane, doesn't even have to be a scoring chance. Just fire it on net and let, let the guys around the net get the rebound, get the tip, get the deflection, get the screen. There's a lot of ways you can score by throwing the puck at the net, and there's not very many ways you can score by passing it around the outside of the zone 15 times. Well, and it shows that they can make passes because they let you. Like teams will just yeah, sit they back just say, well, "Okay, we're gonna you can pass it 10 times here. Yeah. You're not gonna take a shot." So. And teams got wise to Mark Latestu with just standing right. there waiting too. And I think, like Rob Brown pointed out on on the radio the other day, and Rob was a great power play guy in junior. He says teams watch the way players handle the puck on the power play too, and they're not in when they retrieve the puck on a pass, they're not in, in position to shoot the puck. So they say, well, you know, he, he his feet are positioned, so he's getting it and he's passing it again. He's not in position to take one stride and shoot it. So you know they watch it and says, watch his body's turn sideways. He's right. not shooting. It. He's not yeah. facing the net with this. He's not shooting it. So um, there's telltale signs and, and teams scout this power play and of the orders. And I agree with Rob. If if there's eight passes before a shot, you've already eaten up 45 seconds yeah. of that power play without even a shot at the goaltender. And the owners don't even have one guy who's really going good on the power play. Like last year, it was Latestu. Yeah, they could look for him and he was scoring. And this year they don't have even one guy who's really lighting it up on the power play that they can say, you know what, they can't stop this. They can't stop this play. And it's like Vancouver's play used to be that redirect from Henrik to Daniel where he redirected from the high slot and told the team stopped it. They were going to do that every game. Mm -hmm. And they scored lots of goals on it. But the owners don't have that, that play. And... Uh, as a consequence, when they do get a power play, it's like it's like all the power plays you see in the playoffs. When you're playing the same team over and over and over again, suddenly the power play efficiency drops and drops and drops and drops, and teams are desperate to try to get a power play goal, to get a goal, and then nothing much happens on the power play, special teams in the playoffs. But this is a regular season when it should be easier playing a different team every night who you know, can't be scouting you to death with how you work the power play and the orders can't get anything done. 